picture of Virginia Purcell in the emergency room after getting hit by a cyclist on the Centennial Trail. We spoke to her attorney, Daniel Fazy, about what happened that day. Virginia has suffered some pretty serious injuries. She's fractured her elbow, she's got some leg injuries, but more importantly, she's afraid to go walk the trail. So he's taken that away from her. He's taken her ability to enjoy this trail nearby her house from her, and, and she may not get that back. Virginia was walking on the trail near Kendall Yards with her sister when she heard someone yell hot pizza behind her. Just moments before he collides with her, he yells hot pizza. She has no clue what this means. He smashes right into the back of her right leg, hits her, she falls to the ground, strikes her elbow on the ground and suffers severe injuries. The man on the bike who crashed into Virginia was Justin Haller. We asked him today about yelling hot pizza. Hot pizza is a way in which people can calmly turn around with a smile on their face and assess for themselves what they need to do when they see what they see versus me barking in order saying, you need to move. Justin explained when he's yelled hot pizza in the past, it gets people's attention. If I say on your right or on your left, people don't know if that's my right, your right, and they, they, they freak out and they get herky-jerky and, they, they, and then you, you end up get, getting in a close call anyway. But in this case, hot pizza was confusing. Frankly, I have no idea why anyone would yell hot pizza. I don't know why he yelled hot pizza, it makes no sense. And at the end of the day, hot pizza should be left for pizza parties and other things like that, not for cycling. Justin told me he was also trying to avoid a group of women with strollers, as well as Virginia and her sister. That was a perfect storm of bad things that could happen. And this is not the first time I've seen stroller people take up the whole lane. After the crash, Virginia and witnesses say Justin yelled profanities instead of asking if she was okay. After he falls on top of her, he begins to not ask her if she's okay, not check to see if she's all right or injured, but he yells at her, he swears at her, he says that the path belongs to cyclists and that she shouldn't be there. I don't know what my reaction is, I don't really remember a lot, um, but uh, people said that I promised to, to meet them at the hospital, which I didn't. People said I, I, ran, I hit and ran, which I didn't. I was there for three to five minutes in a daze and didn't even move for the first minute, just you know, trying to assess what, what happened and what I broke. Virginia is now suing for negligence, outrage, and consortium. But at the end of the day, her attorney says it's about safety on the trail. This is to promote safety, to do the right thing, and to make sure that this kind of an accident doesn't happen in the future. Virginia's attorney says she's now afraid to walk on the trail she once loved. Justin says he's now avoiding that portion of the trail as well. I just want people to be safe and know that, that this was an accident, not on purpose. Lindsay Nadrich, Creme 2 News.